Ah, there you are, Agent Phantom. I knew you'd make it. Cut the extra chat, Agent Scully. Time we got down to business here. Now, what's this I hear about a special investigation we need to run? You need to run, actually. Alone. Hmm. Strange that the agency would send me in alone. You are the molder to my Scully. Huh. This is the case file, I take it? The very same. It details a very... important object. And the agency wants you to obtain it for them, in order to investigate its contents. A haunted briefcase? Excuse me if I laugh. It's not the briefcase that's believed to be haunted, Agent Phantom. It's the warehouse it's located in. All you need to do is get in, investigate, find the briefcase, and get out. The agency is arranged for a pickup car for you. You do realize your preoccupation with these files makes you the laughing stock of the agency, right? Your obsession with the paranormal, your conspiracy theories, your supposed evidence of aliens. All of that has a perfectly logical explanation within the realms of actual science. You are aware of that, right? But there's always error, Phantom. Always. And that off chance, that vague 1%, that is what I'm interested in. Besides, truth is always stranger than fiction. Now, will you take the case or not? Case accepted, Scaldi. But I still don't see why they're sending me in alone. A little nervous, Phantom? No. What's there to be nervous about? It's just an old abandoned warehouse, and I doubt it's really got some monster or something in it like this file claims. Now wish me luck. I'm going to get to the bottom of this, and prove beyond a doubt that this time there is a reasonable explanation for this file besides a ghost. Remember, Phantom, the truth is out there. That's exactly what I'm counting on. Phantom Safety Pin, and welcome back to the Let's Haunt special for 2013. This time, it's Let's Play The Briefcase. This is a short little horror game. Um, I've heard good things about it, so let's check it out. Right, The Briefcase. Play. <clears throat> Control WASD and uses Enter. Just like with Slender, except with an, an extra button or two. So, while this is loading up, I'm just gonna um, discuss how I think that the Let's Plays have been going this year. Um, I feel like my expectations have really been challenged this year with games. I feel like a lot of different things have happened, and a lot of things have been tried, and new things have been experienced. I feel like this year may have been the best Let's Haunt special yet, just because it's been so different and so unique and so so strange, and it's actually made me made me jump several times. I've been scared quite a bit, and I just feel like this year has been a real success. So I hope you've all been enjoying it. I've been enjoying playing the games, and I can't wait to start yet another game. So let's get right into it, since it seems like the loading screen is just about done here. Find the briefcase and get out. Alrighty. Okay. We're gonna get right on in it. And just, uh, go in here and see what we can find. Yeah, enters interact. Which I find a little bit odd. 
but money could just be like a mouse but okay I'm gonna look around in here interestingly designed game it kind of reminds me of like I don't know what, what the game is but I can jump didn't let on into that into the controls but okay um, yeah, I'm starting a little bit dark. If it's dark for you, it's dark for me. I'll adjust the game up a little bit. There you go. It's dark for you, it's dark for me, too. Um, this game is just designed really darkly. So, it doesn't look like there's anything in here right now, so we're just going to keep going. Oh, what is this? Another door, honestly. Doll Phantom, that's a door. And it's locked. Can't go there. Um, but we can go in here. That was weird. The door just jittered. <laughs> oh. This looks good. This looks good. Who's the footsteps from Slender? In the bathroom. Yeah, I'm going to start sprinting because we have unlimited sprinting. It's a little bit easier. Okay. Who just breathed? Something just breathed. Something just breathed at me. I don't know what. Don't breathe, he breathe. Don't do that either. Don't make noises at me. I don't like it when people make noises at me. I don't like it when games make noises at me. And, oh, this is a dark, dark area. Yeah. Again, I'm sorry. The game is just very, very dark. Um... So if I can't see, you can't see anything, just take consolation in the fact that I cannot see anything either. And turning up the gamma won't help. In this case. Do, 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 do. My shoes kind of, kind of sound sticky. That noise is really creepy. Okay, let's follow the uh, slender tax theory because now it's behind me. Pucker Laboratories. Okay. Huh. Oh. And yeah, that door looks blocked off, so... Well. Hoot. Yay! Can I you run and jump? Oh, hey, I didn't die. Yay. They tried to kill me with a fo No. No, no, no. No, Phantom, no. That is not funny. What is this? What is this? Oh! Oh, that doesn't look foreboding. Well, there's something in here that can give us a hint. Oh, is that a... A key! Pick it up. Pick it up! Sorry, I keep forgetting that you're supposed to hit enter to interact. I'm so used to using the mouse button. Huh. Vents. Ventilation shafts. Hmm. Well, I don't think we're gonna be able to get that door up there open, so we might as well check out some other places around here. I don't like this tight little, these tight corridors. They're rather creepy. This would be a good place to like do a rake game and put the rake in here. There you go. Could something stop breathing? I don't like when things breathey breathe. Breathey breathy breathe. I don't think there's much of anything else down here, so I'm gonna go upstairs. Oh, there's a door over there. Okay, well there's a door, so we might as well head towards the door. Hup. <coughs> up the stairs, up the stairs, up the stairs. Yeah. So far, no real scares yet, but I'm not gonna let that uh I'm not gonna put that past me. Some of these little tiny horror games have provided some of the best scares. There's also that locked door back there, so if the key doesn't work here, I can check out over there. Oh. Oh no, that needs a key card, so I went to the wrong spot. Well. Jump on the railing. Yay! Running around this creepy abandoned warehouse is quite, uh, quite unnerving. 
I just kind of want to see the warehouse and Slender the Arrival. Yeah, in, in the big tunnel. Please, no proxies. I, 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 don't, I don't need any proxies right now. I don't, I don't need any. Not right now. Ah, no, don't get stuck on the door, damn phantom. Okay. Here's the door. Now I can open it. Oh. <laughs> What's with dropping boxes and scares this year? Aha, a key card. And a pen? A pen. I'm assuming that's a pen or like a really huge cigarette or something. Am I pack? Can I get it? I guess not. Oh well. I'm not really hurt anyway. Yeah, I'm like Superman apparently. I can jump off of buildings and not get hurt. I can jump off some high, tall high buildings and not get hurt. What was that? Okay. So, we're pretty much... We must be almost done. There's not that many doors left, so... I'm just going to, uh, head upstairs towards that door over there. And we are going to get the F out of here. Find this briefcase, get out. Find this briefcase and get out. There's nothing here. You stop making that noise! It reminds me of a scare cord in Slender. Why does this game remind me of Slender Man games? It really shouldn't. It's really not scaring me so far, but the atmosphere is really good. I will give it that. The atmosphere is great. Um, <clears throat> the atmosphere is just doing a really good job. And, and I think that's part of, like, almost half of a horror game is the atmosphere. Huh. Ooh. Music. Well, there's our briefcase. Wonder what's in this briefcase. I like music. Oh. Oh. What was that? Nope, 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 nope. Oh, we have to crouch. Okay. Oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus. And he kept up. What the? What just happened? What happened? I didn't see what happened. Did you guys see what happened? Because I didn't see what happened. I'm going to assume there was a monster and I got killed. Because I didn't see what happened. I'm confused. Okay, here's what I'll say about the briefcase. I'm not going to replay it just to see if there's more to it. I, th I think that was pretty much the end of the game anyway. Um, but my guess is that I got killed by a monster. Here's what I think of the briefcase. The ambiance is good. They do a good job with scene setting and uh, building up the horror. Let me turn down the contrast. Damn, that's bright. Um, they do a good job with scene setting and building up the horror, but... I think it needed a little bit more oomph. It's a good it's it's good for the ambiance. The ambiance was great. I just feel like I, I wish there would have been a little bit more to it. Um, instead of just throwing the monster in right at the very, very, very end like that. Um they they, they need to build up more that there is a monster in here. There's something else in the building with you and, and make you a little more jittery. Like little subtle things like shadows, like like more noises. The noises were good. Um, but otherwise, good job. And I liked the basic play of the game. The way the game played was pretty decent. And otherwise, I don't have that many complaints about it. So, until next time, this is the Phantom Safety Pin. And I will see you for one more game.